We can't see the moon tonight, though. No, we can't. I mean, I can bring it back up. Uh, yeah, you could. Like, let's see here. You don't have this. to. No, look. Look at that moon. Uh, that was last night. Crazy. Hey, Tonight's raining. <laughs> you, it is raining. You know what else it's doing tonight, Maggie? It's... What's Hello, <laughs> everybody. I'm Matt. And I'm Matt. And we are... Hopefully all. Awesome. That's right. A positive place on the internet where we nerd out about all the geeky things we love. And today's geeky thing is... Bum, 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 bum. Four. Bum, 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 bum. And I will save you. That's what the brave do. I am the man of steel with a heart of gold. Remember that? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wonder how. Because when I found that video, it was already like seven years old. So it's probably like twenty. <laughs> it's like older than living people that can vote. Yeah. I think yeah, about that. I bet, I bet you're right. Uh, hey, everybody. Remember, if you'd like to support the channel like these fine folks over here, you can head over to patreon.com slash hopefully awesome or join us right here on youtube.com slash hopefully awesome. Get your name in the credits of every episode we make, as well as get a verbal shout out for being our producer yeah. of the month, just like Strange Marvel, Marvel theories. theories. Thank you for being our awesome producer. We greatly appreciate you. Uh, everyone, this is Going Back to Smallville, our weekly podcast where Maggie and I recap yeah. and rewatch Every episode of Smallville, yeah. week by week, episode by episode. Uh, this is Maggie's first watch through. Yeah. And this is my like 27th or something. Uh, and I know if you're new to this, you might be wondering, wait, I thought I was watching something about Superman 4. You are. You are. Because what we are doing, we are in between season four and five. And so to kind of recapture how it felt mm -hmm. to have to watch this and wait three months between <laughs> two uh, between the season finale and season premiere, we take a few weeks, mm -hmm. two or three, and uh, recap the season and yeah. watch one of the Christopher Reeve Superman films. Yeah. So this time, it is time for Superman four, and yeehaw, boy howdy, was is it a boy, is it oh a movie? Who it's uh, uh well we're it's we're gonna something. we're gonna get into it, Maggie. It's this something. this is your well you know what before before I start asking anything. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to Smallville. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, going back to Smallville. Maggie, this is your first time watching Superman 4. Is that correct? Yes, it is. I wasn't sure because uh, I remember watching 3. <laughs> Sorry about three. that. <laughs> Whenever... Uh, we were watching it because I do remember Richard Pryor, but I was like, maybe I've watched the fourth one. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Okay. I had no memory of it at all. And uh, I guess I never watched it or I, I mean, did watch it and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, you're not, you definitely weren't missing anything. No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, but before we start dragging it out, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the facts of Superman 4. So this is the fourth Superman movie. Mm-hmm. I'm not counting uh, like the uh, serials, like Superman versus the Mole Men and stuff like oh, that. Okay. Like this is just straight up motion picture, picture yeah. feature length film. Uh, so it is the fourth Superman movie. However, it is also the bless you, Henry. <laughs> it is the fifth Super Family movie overall. It's a Supergirl. Supergirl came out after Superman three, but oh. before Superman four. And there's actually some tidbits about Supergirl, oh. uh, which we are going to watch that eventually. I think we're going to wait until between season six and seven. Uh, for next season, we'll be watching between five and six. We're going to watch the ill-fated Aquaman pilot Can't that wait. Al Gore and Miles Miller made. Can't uh, wait. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun one. Again, not tied to Smallville at all. No. But like that's the that's like the summer that they made it. Like it was supposed to go in the yeah. 2006 season. Um, so that's when we're going to watch it. Uh, let's see here. The original release date for Superman four was July 24th, 1987. Holy crap. That's when my cousin was born. Like to the date. Yeah. Would, who's better? Your cousin or this movie? <laughs> my cousin. <laughs> my cousin is. <laughs> Written by Lawrence Connor and Mark Rosenthal. So. There's you're saying of Rosenbaum. That's no, 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 Rosenbaum. no, 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 no. I've heard of that name. <laughs> no, I know uh, they they actually have a lot of stuff, a lot, okay. a lot of credits under their their uh, cap. Uh, so we got 
their previous things that they worked on was The Legend of Billie Jean, which mm-hmm. was a movie that starred Helen Slater, a.k.a. Supergirl. Mm-hmm. And they also wrote Sometimes They Come Back, which was a TV, a t- made-for-TV film. Oh. Uh, I just remember my brother Billy, like, talking about it, uh, like, when we were children. Yeah. So, I mean, he he may not even remember it now. But it was Sometimes mm-hmm. They Come Back and Sometimes They Come Back for More. Yeah. And I don't really, I, I assume it's something like Pet Cemetery. Oh, God. Like, sometimes they come back, right? Yeah. Like, I assume that's what, but I honestly, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I did not look any further into it than writing it down <laughs> in this PowerPoint presentation. Um, they also wrote Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. I don't think I've ever watched that. That is, uh, is the last one before Generations. So, it's the last one with, uh, the, full, with the full cast. Full cast, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It released after the next generation had started. Yeah. So like they actually had like their CGI blood in it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and Worf makes an appearance, but he's not Worf. He's like Worf's grandpa. <laughs> yeah. But it's still Worf. Like it's still it's, Worf. And they it's call him the Worf. Yeah. And it's the actor, but it's not Worf. It's his grandfather. Well. Yeah. Dad burn. It's honestly, it's probably one right, of right Henry. It's one of the better. Like, it's in, like, the top half. Like, basically, okay. with Star Trek movies, side tangent here, everybody. With Star Trek movies, the, the even numbers are good, the odd numbers are bad. Okay. So, Star Trek 1, bad. Star Trek 2, two good. Star Trek 3, bad. Star Trek 4, fantastic, right? <laughs> Star Trek 5, <gasps> that's the one where Jesus needed a spaceship. All right. Well, sorry, sorry. Vulcan Jesus needed a spaceship. Vulcan Jesus, yeah. okay. Because uh, God needed it. And it's terrible. Uh, then, of course, Star Trek Six, pretty good. It's like a political thriller, oddly oh, enough. Okay. Uh, and then Generations, I actually like Generations. Yeah, I love Generations. Uh, but then you got Eight, First Contact, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty uh, good. Nine was not that great. And then Ten, which I'm a big fan of. I actually really like Ten. What was Ten? Ten is okay. Nemesis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. With uh, uh, Bane yeah. as young Patrick Stewart. Yep. Oh, make it so, brother. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's the only Star Trek movie I actually saw in theaters of the original. Okay. Yeah. Man, that I was remember good my times. brother being like amped about Nemesis. It's like, <gasps> so, it was good, man. It's good. And they, yeah. when they remember when they kill spoiler alert for Star Trek Nemesis from two thousand four, three, yeah, something like that. Uh, they kill off Data. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. What a what yeah. a bunch of shit that was. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Moving on. <laughs> they also wrote the movie The Beverly Hillbillies. What? And Mighty <laughs> Joe Young, the remake. Not not the original seventies. No, 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 no. I figured it was yeah. the yeah. Uh, they also wrote Planet of the Apes from two thousand one, the oh, Tim no. Burton one. Oh no. <laughs> hey, what? I'm in the Planet of the Apes. Say hello to your mother ape for me. Is that really what he says in that? Must be in a planet of apes. No, he doesn't say anything like that. Probably not. I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't. Can't, I've watched it once. It. I watched yeah. it once. I refuse. You refuse. Like I will watch all the other ones <laughs> before I watch that one again. <laughs> okay. And like I know the the originals aren't great. By the time you get that fifth one going, <laughs> oh boy, shoe boy. Uh, they wrote Flicka. <laughs> About the horse. Yeah. Uh, they also wrote The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Should we? Yeah. They, they had their hands in Disney back in uh, the day. An, an eclectic uh, bunch Very of... Very interesting. Rugs. They actually they have more credits than just that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but I left it with just those. It's all good. Uh, directed by Sidney J. Fury, hmm. whose previous works include Ladybugs. <laughs> Is that the one with Roddy Dangerfield? Yes, yes. Oh my God. Hey, I got a three body problem. When I get into bed with my old woman, I'm the third body. Ooh. 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 That's where I he. Get, I get no respect. He makes his son dress and drag to get play on a girl's soccer team. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, he also directed Hide and Seek from the year 2000. It was the Robert De Niro. Uh, hang on. No, wait, wait. It was Robert De Niro. And Dakota Fanning. Nope. Robert De Niro, Dakota Fanning. Nope, not ringing in. It's kind of a horror 
thriller. Yeah. Sp- spoiler alert for 2000s hide and seek. <laughs> Robert De Niro has split personalities. Oh. And, and one of them is like trying to kill a girl. But he's okay. also like her like therapist or dad or something. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't good. <laughs> like I ended up trading in like three things at, at a at GameStop and got it for free because like if you brought in three they'd give you a, yeah 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 you know? so yeah. I got I got that and then I used that <laughs> towards pre ordering uh, Scooby Doo two okay but it was too late because it came out like the next day so you couldn't pre order it <laughs> <laughs> that's and so lame. Then I think I got firefly i think that's what i ultimately you ended up with that. yeah oh, that's great. so i mean i mean it worked out all in the end you know for the <laughs> towards the best of course uh travis is in chat he says how's it going guys i dropped into a mark Wahlberg impress impression <laughs> new apes on the block <laughs> that's right oh hey must be a planet of the apes that's a that's mark, that's a, uh, that's a marky mark in the funky bunch of bananas the banana bunch Banana bunch. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Banana bunch of crunch. Uh, he also is still active. So Sydney J. Fury is still active uh, through at, up to 2018. Oh, wow. No death date. I checked just to make sure he wasn't dead. Uh, but still, still hanging alive, on. Uh, but has had a total of 58 projects since 1957. Hey, hang in there, Sydney. Yeah, doing great kicking it you know yeah i mean hey and one of i mean look at how great he did he did ladybugs and superman 4 i mean <laughs> prolific to say I the mean, least he got know? to work with rodney danger <laughs> oh hey oh jeez. Oh, oh, oh. got no get no respect my wife <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, Trav- before you move on to the next yeah, one yeah. Travis said my mom took me to theaters to see hide and seek <laughs> no <laughs> way Dr. Connors from Spider-Man is a cop who gets his head smashed in by De Niro yeah that's right and that's he said right. uh, <laughs> ape aptimus prom aptimus prom <laughs> That's a tongue twister oh, wow. for me. First of all I'm a, I'm a scientist and now I got a big giant transformer on my back and what what's going on do you have a hamburger, please? Did you know he he plays a scientist in Transformers 4? He's a scientist. Oh, I thought he was a farmer that somehow no, he's a uh, came across a Transformer. I mean, it's basically the same, but he's a scientist. He's a he's a he's a inventor. I remember, he makes like a robot that delivers beer. I feel like that's the one that my oldest brother turned on at one of his kids' birthday parties, and he fell asleep on the couch before the game cake was cut <laughs> did uh did, what are their dinosaurs i can't i can't remember matt that's because that's the only distinguishing all feature i looked around is, there's my dad oldest brother out like a lot look over next to me second oldest brother out <laughs> i mean it probably was if okay if it has dinosaurs then it's yeah. the fourth one which granted the dinosaurs are also in the fifth one but they're more specifically like you know revealed and stuff in the fourth one uh, but if it's the fifth one, then the moon eats Earth. <laughs> but the moon doesn't save us. <laughs> I mean, it's not technically. No. It's technically it's not the moon. Technically, it's Cybertron. Yeah, but it, Cybertron's a transformer. But it turns out here's okay. Here's the bullshit, Maggie. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. Earth is the Unicron. Earth? Yeah, I remember you telling yeah. me about this. And that like what the That's fuck? Crap. How does that even? How's that? What work? are you talking about? Unicron eats. Eat us. And then they have the Quintessons, which are the ones that brought back Optimus Prime from when he died in the movie, the animated movie. Yeah. And they're like four foot Transformers. <laughs> so like, it's just like this kind of smaller stature. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's like a servant. Like, I mean, like, like C-3PO or something. Yeah. But he's only like five two. And so like, it's just weird. It's like, it's like they grabbed the, the PNG of a character and just like pulled him to shrink. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But only like, seven percent so he's just smaller just a little bit smaller than everyone else and it's just weird what a fucking garbage movie that was (laughs) god travis said he plays cade yeager an inventor who sucks at his job and now his and his daughter is a (laughs) i mean remember her boyfriend has a has a card i don't remember his boyfriend her boyfriend 
has a car because she's under 18 and mm-hmm. he's not he's over 18 he's like a racer or some bullshit uh of course and so uh mark Wahlberg is like hey that's illegal and he's like well actually according to this and he pulls out a laminated card of like the the statute of like what's acceptable age range in whatever state they're supposed to be in and it's like it's way too specific like like it feels like the writer was really trying to like process some personal things yeah that sounds like somebody <laughs> trying to prove a point yeah. that happened to them in a yeah. uh, in the past yeah it's, it's really it's really <laughs> that's fucking really weird. weird it's that's really, really weird. weird yeah we'll watch I it can't one day get this. there it goes uh so synopsis via robert lynch Superman does a lot in his newest adventure. Arch villain Lex Luthor, determined to make the world safe for nuclear arms merchants, cre- creates yeah. a new being to challenge the Man of Steel, the radiation-charged Nuclear Man. Nuclear Man. The two super-powered foes clash in an explosive screen extravaganza that sees Superman save the Statue of Liberty, repulse a volcano eruption of Mount Etna, rebuild the demolished Great Wall of China, and perform many more spectacular feats. This is Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Maggie, what did you think of Superman 4, The Quest for Peace? Well, before I give my thoughts, hi and good night to Angie. Hey, good night, Mom. <laughs> Love you. Have a good night. Um, this movie was like a train flipped on its tracks and <laughs> at least it was shorter than the last one it, what i mean i have to give it points for being <laughs> short okay <laughs> but like the train flipped on its tracks then i don't know throwing a dash of bipolar into it i think <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> bipolar yes. what the hell i don't know man like the stuff was like i know lois is supposed to be like anytime she sees superman it's just <sighs> yeah yeah like yeah no lois is a strong woman like she would i mean and, and I, uh, yeah well i mean i i have to say I, th- I do i completely agree obviously yeah at the time i feel like it was more acceptable yeah uh but i also think that us having watched season four with with uh this yeah. lois lane erica durance uh, i feel like that very much cements the idea that Lois can take care of herself. Yeah. And so having to go back to the doughy eyed, you know, schoolgirl crush, uh, like it's it's tough. And it's not written well. No, it's and not. And it's not directed well. <laughs> they had a not, budget of five bucks. With a know? dash of bipolar in it, man. That's yeah. <laughs> it's not it's yeah, it's I mean, it's not good. Like yeah. let's let's call a spade a spade. It, it is, is not, it is not a not, good movie. Not a good time. Uh but this being your first time <laughs> uh was it was it what you expected it to be <laughs> yeah i, mean, I had I, sold it pretty low uh, yeah um was it was it better than i had sold it or worse than i sold it i think it's worse than you sold it. i mean but i was selling it really bad so i'm I surprised that it was worse than how because I, I mean i was setting the bar at like negative two like, you know like i don't know i hate how they do nuclear men like with <laughs> <laughs> Gene Hackman's voice. Like, yes, it's so and like, weird. like okay, why, why do that? And you freaking cut <laughs> a strand of Superman's hair, which is in a museum, holding a what a ton or yeah. something. Like the whole point is it's indestructible. And he goes in there and cuts it with <laughs> what pliers? I say, I think so. Like, like a lock a ranch, cutter. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, freaking Lana couldn't even cut Clark's hair. In Smallville, Maggie, 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 You're you keep comparing it to something that, that was makes made sense. in the new millennium. All right, <laughs> this was 1987. All right, I, I need you to think about this. This is before Batman. All right, this is even Batman before 89. Batman. All right, two years before Batman. So like, just remember that. Like, keep that in mind. Okay, we're in, still... we're in the time when Rocky boxed with a robot. All right, that's the time frame. A robot trainer, like his robot butler, or whatever the robot fuck. Robot butler. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. He yeah, had a that's robot. That's why I was. He like had a you're... robot. We had Danny Glover fighting he... the Predator in L.A. Hey, that was before he uh, lost everything in that movie. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, like, 
yes, compared to nowadays, yeah, all of all of these are not great. No. Like nothing against Chris Reeve. I love I love Chris Reeve, and I will always love the Chris Reeve movies, specifically Superman the movie and Superman Two: oh. The Donner Cut. Obviously, yeah. Uh, that being said, I mean they are products of their time, you know, yeah. and so to compare it to logical things i'm sorry but that it's drove not, me insane not but, fair. but you put that strain of hair mm-hmm. on a nuclear weapon with some chicken it was chicken <laughs> like some raw chicken it wasn't it wasn't raw chicken they, they called it uh was it a heart uh, no it was it was called like organic material i'm pretty it's sure it's all, that's all they called it's it. raw chicken <laughs> You put that in a nuclear missile, I mean, and you're thank like, "Thank God huh. they're wearing gloves at the very least." You know, we don't want salmonella getting also, all over. Also, John looting. Cryer in his fake Californian <laughs> accent is Maggie, ridiculous. Maggie, Maggie, it's Lenny Luther. All right, Get, put some respect on the name of Lenny. Does Luther. Lenny show up in Smallville? No, <laughs> Lenny. Lenny isn't real. Okay, I know. I know. Lenny. Lenny is the Willis of the Superman <laughs> franchise. <laughs> He's oh, not can it take oh, okay i actually Lord. do have i do have some stuff about lenny okay and how he <laughs> he actually is somehow related to the dcu okay yeah it's, um, it's bad uh travis said i got the box set of the first i'll say whoa it moved <laughs> that's not what i was reading first chris H- hansonius prime should have showed up and said end of the road then kicked him out of earth's atmosphere as the touch place <laughs> Uh, you got the, the touch, touch. Boom, boom, i got the boom. box set of the first four superman films when i started watching seinfeld Hell and yeah. i was more upset when i was too young to explain why this one sucked <laughs> this was during the year where he-man was covered in baby oil and <laughs> whipped mm. by skeletor while mr strickland of the universe, yeah. Right? yeah while mr strickland from back to the future blows people away with a shock oh my god yeah it was a year yeah. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay. Keep that in mind with where we are. Eighty-seven. Uh, let's see. So I actually was uh, was gonna say Travis kind of brought this up and made me remember um, when I got like basically the, the I watched oh, Superman sorry. four when I was like a, a kid. Yeah. And I I didn't really watch it again until I got the DVD box set mm-hmm. of the Ultimate Superman collection. Yeah, I think I I have it in here somewhere, but I mean, obviously, I'm not going to get to it right now. Um, it's probably in that cabinet. Probably, but I mean, I, I now I have it like three different times. I have it on Blu-ray and I have it on 4K and digital and DVD. Smallville. Oh, he said this is when I was started watching Smallville, not not Seinfeld. Ah, I got you. That okay. makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. I was like, huh? Um, but uh, but it came in like the steel tin and is a 14 disc set. And so, I mean, like, I went back and I watched all of it. And, like, uh, Superman 1 had four discs. Superman 2 had, like, basically four discs because it was two. And then also mm-hmm. the Donner Cut was its own thing. Yeah. Uh, Superman 3 had, like, two discs. And then Superman 4 was, like, a double-sided <laughs> disc. And it was like, uh, uh, you got it. Uh, and, like, the amount of effort put in, like, gets lower and lower, <laughs> you know? Like, I mean, four discs worth of special features for the first one. And then just by the time you get to four, they're like, uh, here's the trailer. Here's, <laughs> that's it. That's all you get. Here's the DVDs that you'll absolutely hate <laughs> when you get older. Like, the we, two-sided ones. We're, we're going to include the pilot for Super Pup on this <laughs> with Bark oh, Bent. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. They, there actually is some stuff, some deleted scenes and things, which we're going to talk about yeah. here in a little bit. Uh, but I love that box set. That Tra- box set was so great. Travis says he has the silver DVD box set one. Um, and also, Jerry Seinfeld does have a Superman st- statue in Seinfeld, so it kind of works. I'll be honest. That's, I mean, I I did put it together. Oh, like, I, I was like, Superman I, is a part of Seinfeld. Because I had a, f- I had a feeling that it like, was. Do you remember the Jerry Seinfeld Superman American Express or Visa check card commercials, where uh, the guy that played Putty is Superman, yeah. but it's like the comic '70s yeah. Superman, like yeah. in two D. Yeah. He's like, uh, well, I can go wherever I go. And he's like, but you even fly. He's like, yeah, but I get air miles. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Those commercials yes. were great. Uh, so anyway, um, Superman 4. Just, just awful. Uh, Hot mess. Just not 
not Fox. great. This is what happens when people are just trying to make money. That's all this was. Uh, they also tried uh, the way they convinced Christopher Reeve, which I'm going to get into all the nitty gritty details. Uh, but n- at no point was story the forefront of why this movie was being made. Like it, at no point was that ever the case. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. It was to save a business. It was to get another uh, Christopher Reeve movie greenlit. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, you know, somebody's commentary on current political environment. Yeah. And, like, just at no point was it like, hey, what would make a good Superman movie, <laughs> you know? In fact... Hey, you they... know what? We have all these villains we can use from <laughs> Superman. You know what? Screw that. We're going to make our own. <laughs> what if we get a a, body, a blonde bodybuilder and put Gene Hackman's voice inside of him? <laughs> and say that he's made from raw chicken and a <laughs> strand of hair. <laughs> I mean... Have you seen the people that talk about bodybuilding nowadays? Like, they're all, like, eating raw chicken and, you know, like makes sense bunch of anyway um so yeah it's not it was not great um but before we go any further i think we should go ahead and get into our first segment of war what is it good for He's so adorable. Uh, I love that we don't want to talk about this movie so much that we just keep side tangenting back yes. to Transformers. <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about Star Trek for a good five That's minutes. That's true. Hey, you know, like if it, I'm trying to remember the last time we had a movie that we didn't want to talk about and like we just kept like side tangent. I can't remember. I want to say it was during Transformers or it might have been Turtles. It might have been Turtles 3. It was Turtles 3. Yeah, because there's like this, there's not much to say because it's just garbage. Yeah, they (laughs) harassed April the whole entire time. Um, So, how Clark and Lois have progressed this week? Well, Clark made Lois remember everything and then immediately forget everything again. Yeah. Dude, I totally forgot that this happens. Like, man alive. Give a whole brand new meaning of gaslighting. (laughs) Like, dang. And like... He doesn't even get any help from her. No. Like, he's like, oh, I just needed to talk to you, Lois. I need some fresh air, Lois. And, like, and like they talk about... No- he's like, Nothing. oh, you remember? And she's like, yeah, I remember it all. And he's oh. like, oh. oh. And then they... Too ca- bad. Like, like uh. he doesn't say, hey, I'm really struggling with this nuclear thing. Like, should you... Like, what do you think I should do? Like, none of that. No. Nope. It doesn't, like... Nope. It's, they just, just... It's like... It's like they were just trying to recapture the that moment magic. that happened. Yeah. Yeah. And like I did like and that then, she remembered, and then but just immediately just ke- yeah, just be like, hey, you know what? Let's destroy them again. You know, <laughs> let's destroy the audience. Let's make her forget again. And like anyway, I I don't I don't want to just beat this horse to death. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll just we'll keep going. Uh, how Clark and Lex have progressed this week. <laughs> well, Lex still hates Superman for reasons, many reasons. Do you, Maggie? What? Why does Superman? Why does Lex hate Superman? Because in this franchise, in this franchise, yeah, not not in general, <laughs> not in general. Like I, I want to know what his reasons for hating Superman is. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know, he's jealous. <laughs> jail, jail. I'm pretty sure the the main thing is he sent him to jail. Oh, okay. Because because Superman stopped the yeah the his the plans bomb. for for otisville or whatever the fuck. otisville <laughs> where was otis why do we have to have lenny you know bring otis, otis back otis got out otis fucks all right like <laughs> i fuck with otis okay he's great he's great because he's a buffoon and like that's what this movie needs it needs just someone who knows what they're in knows it's garbage and just well, I will say has fun, you know? Lenny has good taste in uh, video game consoles. He's playing an NES. That's so. true. That's a good point. Yeah. And of course, he's probably playing some fucking Stupid, bullshit like, like E.T. or something. Yeah. Oh, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if this is when E.T. came out or not. I'm so sorry. What? E.T. was on the Atari, oh, no. not the NES. I thought. I thought they made. Terrible. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> you can smack my hand. No, smack my hand. No, we just 
Listen, we're just going to watch more Norm. All right. More Norm. No. We're, we're just going to watch more Norm until you remember. This movie needed Richard Pryor. I agree, Travis. It did. Uh, no. He tried. I he tried. So, he tried. He's like, did so well acting in the yeah. third one. But, like, I, I don't want to put Richard Pryor through that. Like, hasn't he been through enough? <laughs> Do we, must we make him go back to Superman? Come on. Uh, God, can you imagine if they tried to put Richard Pryor in this? Like, how much more? Like, because they would make it more about him again so like again. what would this movie like would he be the kid like would he be riding superman superman i think you need to take away the nuclear weapons yeah and isn't like, this is the kid from the third one or whatever that had oh, i can't remember jamie <laughs> <laughs> no that was lana's son oh okay yeah oh yeah that yeah. is right yeah, yeah, okay yeah. Nah, this is just some and the, kid and like also screw them for uh hello <laughs> Lana was working at the Daily Planet oh, at the end of the third one. That's month. that. Listen, you can't expect a story to continue in the eighties from from movie to movie. Okay, <laughs> like things happen. All right, James Bond is a different actor. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. All right. Only thing that matters in the eighties, money, money and drugs. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that matters in the eighties. What do you got? Uh, Travis said uh, that they did a similar thing with the Karate Kid box set where they put the next Karate Kid at the bottom of Karate Kid 3. Um, That's fair. And there's also one episode of Seinfeld where Elaine meets the Bizarro versions of all of them. Yes. And Bizarro, Jerry has a Bizarro Superman statue. And, uh, wait, like a Bizarro Superman? Like That's cool. Like Bizarro Bizarro? Uh, and there was also the episode where Terry Hatcher dates jerry mm. and like keeps mentioning superman stuff yeah. and like but this is before lois and clark oh wow yeah 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 anyway oh. also i believe this was canon film the same people who did the masters of the universe yeah uh, that was always a weird plot point for me making people forget slash remember things third rock from the sun ends like that and it's depressing it is oh uh, yeah and <laughs> readings from the big giant head and he said i can tell you why jesse eisenberg's lex hates superman but not this one <laughs> What what uh what do you say? What's the guy say in the fortress? Like, is it for shame? What does he say? He says like for shame, for shame, for shame, shame, I, shame. I can't remember what it is. It's some stupid. I'm stupid. sorry. Who the what? fuck are these guys? Also, hello, Clark. These are the dodos that told that your dad was a quack. Yeah. So why are you even listening? Why did Jarrell even... Yeah, well, we all know why. Also, because they didn't want to get Marlon Brando back. Yeah, that's, that's the only reason. They don't want right. to them. <laughs> like, that's the only reason any of these people are in there. And also, why is his mom recommending listening to the Elders of Krypton? Where the fuck did this green... Like, this new green crystal come from that, like, kills his ship yeah. or something? Like, yeah. Ah, the brand ah. new energy he can only use once. We just... Uh, we gotta move on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> how clark and lacey warfield have progressed this week she was wanting that super d god she was the d stands for dingling <laughs> i was wondering where he's gonna go with that. <laughs> she wanted his super dean kane all right who's a piece of crap just to be clear oh, um, I want that. no nobody would um <laughs> uh, uh, the double date part was so right stupid. like why why did we like why why did this like become a sitcom like for like a good 15 minutes well, of the like movie, i told you, know? you always watch it i was like because they thought everybody was dumb back then <laughs> like seriously this feels as like out of place as when uh sonic 2 takes like a right turn for like 20 minutes and becomes a romantic yeah. comedy about that lady trying to get married like for like and, like there's no sonic no like they're just it's just about her being a bridezilla she gets in a golf cart like, to, like no it's who no it's for no one like <laughs> i mean and i feel like that's what this is okay it's like hey randomly we're gonna have a double date with superman oh, clark lovis and and uh lacy and man just really dumb stuff just not not good <laughs> And I feel I feel like this whole scene spawned the entire run of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. You also, know? Uh, I like how she s said, 
Clark, I know the perfect job for you. You can do all the club nightclub things. Oh my god! And he's like, I'm usually in the bed by 10 p.m. <laughs> like, and see, so you don't even have to flaunt it. <laughs> she got. I. She was. <sighs> like they could have even brought Lana back to do that. Like at least that would have been yeah. better in some way. Like yeah. let it be. You know, Lana likes Clark and Lois likes Superman, yeah. and like let that be. Like, if you're going to do a stupid romantic story, like, do that, That, you know? That works. Yeah. Not nuclear man. (laughs) Nuclear man. Nuclear man. It's time to get into the continuity. I had to find it. There it is. All right. You, we got uh, Yeah, uh, just two things. Uh, Travis says in Smallville, it's because they made Lex push horse crap around in a wheelbarrow. Clark is like, Dad, do we even have horses? And his dad's like, Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, Clark, they, I had to get rid of them. They were screaming too loud. And Travis said, Me during the James Gunn squad, uh, su- uh, yeah, Suicide yeah. Squad movie, when it takes 20 minutes to show Harley Quinn fall in love with some dude. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that section. Which, I mean, at least Margot Robbie's a good actor. And, like, yeah. like at least that was fun to watch. Just because, like, it's at least, even though it's completely random, it's still well-written. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, like, that's the, that's the difference there. Uh, continuity. An enlarged Daily Planet font page <laughs> hanging in the Daily Planet building lobby reads, Superman saves chemical plant from fire. Superman did so in Superman 3 from 1983. So see, there was some continuity. Uh, uh, This is the only one of the four Superman, Christopher Reeve Superman films, where Superman does not save Jimmy Olsen from anything. In the first film, he saved him from falling off a a destructing dam. In the second film, he saved him along with a few others from the supervillain trio, Zod, Nam, and Ursa. Sorry. In the third film, he saved him from a burning chemical factory where Olsen Olsen. also had fractured his leg. (laughs) Old Jimmy. Good old Jimmy Jim. Jimmy Johns. Uh, Give me some subs. Uh, (laughs) The new filmmakers. All right. Here's where we start getting into why this movie is the way it is. Uh, The new filmmakers offered Reeves a deal he couldn't refuse in exchange for starring in the fourth Superman film. They would produce any project of his choosing. And also promised him story input. There was also talk of having Reeve direct a fifth Superman film in case the fourth one proved successful. <laughs> Reeve accepted, and in exchange, Golden and Globus. <laughs> Golan and. <laughs> I think it's Globus, Matt. <laughs> Not Globus. I know, I knew I read it wrong. <laughs> it just killed me. G L O B U S, just to let y'all know. <laughs> Uh, they produced his gritty crime drama, Street Smart. Ooh. So they were like, listen, if you do this, we'll let you have input on the story. We'll pay you a lot. And whatever project you want, we'll or do you it. Want, we'll Just do it, please baby. make this movie with us. And he was like, fine. I'll do it. You bastards. In <laughs> uh, Reeves' autobiography, Still Me, he described filming Superman 4 as simply a catastrophe from start to finish. He wrote, we are also hampered by budget constraints and cutbacks in all departments. Canon Films had nearly 30 projects in the works at the time, and Superman 4 received no special consideration. For example, Connor and Rosenthal wrote a scene in which Superman lands on 42nd Street and walks down the double yellow lines to the United Nations, where he gives a speech. If that had been done, if that... If that had been a scene in Superman 1, we would actually have shot it on 42nd Street. Dick Donner would have choreographed hundreds of pedestrians and vehicles and cut to the people gawking out of the office windows at the side of Superman walking down the street like the pod popper. Instead, we had to shoot at an industrial park in England in the rain with about 100 extras, not a car in sight, and a dozen pigeons thrown in for atmosphere. Even if the story had been brilliant, I don't think that we could have ever lived up to the audience's expectations with this approach. There are approximately 45 minutes. Sorry, this is a, a next, the next thing. That's what he said about that. Uh, there are approximately 45 minutes of this film that have not been seen by the public after they were deleted 
following a failed Southern California test screening. In fact, the nuclear man that appears in the film is actually the second nuclear man Luther created. That's right, there's two in the original oh, script. Jesus. There's two. Uh, the cutscenes featured the original nuclear man engaging Superman in battle outside the Metro Club and being destroyed by the Man of Steel. The first nuclear man was somehow somewhat more inhuman looking than his successor and resembled vaguely in looks and significantly in personality the comic character Bizarro. Yep. Luther postulates that the nuclear man was not strong enough and hatches the plan to create the second nuclear man inside the sun as a result. The comic book adaptation of the film, as well as the novelization, depicts these scenes in several photos of Superman's battles with the first nuclear man. Wow. Yep. Uh, <laughs> according to John Cryer, who oh played boy. Lex Luthor's nephew, Lenny, uh, Reeve had taken him aside just before the releasing and told him it was going to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Although Cryer enjoyed working with Reeve and his on-screen uncle, Gene Hackman, Aww. Cryer claimed that Cannon ran out of money five months ahead of time and ultimately released an unfinished movie. This is somewhat borne out in the novelization of the film script. It shows a much more complex and complete story. The film looked as though whole pages or sections of the script were summarily torn out. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's, that, we're starting to get a good picture here. Uh, Superman, I'm sorry, Supergirl from 1984 is not mentioned anywhere during the film. The spinoff film was released between Superman 3 and 1983 and this film. Christopher Reeve was originally going to make a cameo in that film, uh, but he passed. Mm. Wes Craven was set to direct, but was replaced after Christopher, after creative differences with the star Christopher Reeves. So we could have had a Wes Craven Superman movie. Wow. What a world that would have been. Uh, the movie's original budget was $36 million. Just before filming was to begin, the Canon Group, which was experiencing financial problems, slashed the budget to $17 million. That's over half. Yeah. The filmmakers cut Connor's corners by doing things like reusing special effects, which we saw a lot. A lot. There's that one shot, which uh, the the honest trailers, yeah. they actually they, they cover this really yeah. good. Um, so everybody definitely go check out the honest trailer for Superman four, but there's this one scene where Superman flies at the screen and it's literally the same effect and they use it like 10 times at least, seems. yeah, seven to 10 times. Yeah. Like it's the only time he flies. Yeah. Like they show this, this same one yes. and even the ending, I swear to God, they just like recorded it on a VCR from the first Superman yeah. movie and was like, I ah, just put it on there. It's Screw fine. Guys. Like they definitely didn't redo it. Like yeah. it's definitely not redone. Uh, Travis says that Canon films also ran out of money during masters of the universe. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. There's, there's actually a, a documentary about Canon films and I think I own it. Um, but if I don't, it's, I'm very it's really interested good. to see how many fingers <laughs> they had in yeah. so many different pies I mean, it's, at the same time. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. Like uh, it talks about just the downfall and like yeah. how they came about and stuff. I feel like I watched it. I either watched it or I bought it and was planning on watching it. I don't remember. Uh, the failure of this film at the box office prompted the Canon group Inc. to cancel a planned production of Spider-Man. <laughs> So we almost got a canon Spider-Man movie. Can you imagine? Thank you, Lord, it didn't happen. <laughs> Before this film was released, the canon group Inc. began planning a fifth film directed by Albert Pyon. When canon went bankrupt, Superman's film rights reverted back to Isla Salkind and Alexander Salkind. The fucking Salkinds, don't get me started. Uh, Isla wrote a story for a fifth film with Carrie Bates and Mark Jones in which Superman dies and is resurrected in the bottled city of Kendor. It was not an adaptation of the famous Death and Return of Superman story arc, which is predated by about two years. The project was scrapped when the Salkons sold Superman's film rights to Warner Brothers in 1993, which opened up a whole... A whole bunch of other things because oh, can of worms. where like the Salkons had owned the rides, like the Superman rides were a bit complex, like yeah. a lot, a lot like the Marvel rides. Yeah. Like there was, there was a lot of confusion there when it first switched over. Uh, but we'll be talking more about that stuff here in just a little bit. So Maggie, what, how do you feel about all that? Canon. That explains uh, so much. It does. So, so much. I can't imagine being on set. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm glad 
at least John Cryer looks back on it as like, hey, I got to work with Gene Hackman, yeah. Christopher Reeve. They were good to me. Thank God it didn't tank his career. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> holy crap, yeah. man. Like, I think also, I think uh, this was during the time John Cryer did pretty in pink i think you're right yeah because his hair yeah 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 <laughs> i was like it has to be pretty in pink i'm pretty certain that's the one he was yeah. in um but uh yeah the <laughs> it's just it's a it's a disaster sounds like super Mar- but was it super mario Bro- or mario brothers i can't remember the 90s one. oh super mario bros yeah 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 yeah, yeah. The, the movie the movie right i think Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Yeah. I feel like that's what it's called. Yeah, the nineties one. Yeah. That's this is what this sounds like. Yeah. But like if if they had gone bang bankrupt in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh just just a nightmare. Um I didn't put this in there anywhere, but obviously the Superman, Christopher Reeve, and the Supergirl are supposed to be in the same yeah. universe. Um but, you know, never got to cross over until technically last year. When uh, their universe was somewhat fictitiously put together and we had yeah. Superman and Supergirl in the same shot. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert for The Flash. Uh, but they do a very, very poor job <laughs> of the CG of Christopher Reeve and Helen Slater as their respective yeah. Superman and Supergirl. Um, but I will say, like, I don't... Okay, like... the. the the whole conversation about you know using people's likenesses after they die and stuff all of that aside right because that's a whole that is a very deep conversation Mm -hmm. definitely one worth having but just to not get off track here um putting that to the side it was really nice to see them two be in the same shot together even though it's not really them but like just seeing that supergirl was like kind of officially welcomed in as part of the history of the superman films you know yeah Um, because for so long it was just acted Uh, like as if it wasn't anything you know um so yeah i mean it's uh it's definitely definitely interesting for sure to say the least what we got uh travis says i feel like we could have seen one uh where lex is playing his revenge while on a golf retreat then the gopher from caddyshack steals his kryptonite golf ball (laughs) leading to a golf ball showdown (laughs) with superman happy gilmore shows up (laughs) I feel like Chevy Chase would show up, Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> I mean, all the Caddyshack people. Like, I wish we could have got, like, in another world, right, where Chris Reeve didn't have his accident. Like, you know, we got we got um, uh, Michael Keaton mm-hmm. back as Batman. Like, imagine if we could have Chris Reeve Superman. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And like, do something like Kingdom Come yeah oh and like God. you know and have the old superman bag like yeah that i mean that i think would have been something really special you know definitely and like it's great that we got him showing up in smallville and like you know he was always affiliated with stuff and i mean obviously chris reeve much bigger than just being superman yeah oh, you know yeah. like i mean even just in the charity world i yes. mean you know fantastic person um but it just, it, it is a shame that he never really got a chance to do, like, one final, like, really good take on Superman. Because yeah. I feel like he would have just Nailed killed it. it. Yeah. He would have done great, man. Yeah. Gosh. Ugh. Man, he would have been blown away by all the effects, too. Mm-hmm. And now all we get is Brandon Routh. Yeah. I like Brandon Ralph. I like, I like him. him. That's why I didn't not, laugh at that. Not necessarily as Superman. I mean, like, his Superman's fine. But, I mean, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about all the new people we met this week. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> all right. Welcome. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> oh, no. There's a Ricola. I'm going to recall everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the party, everybody. Uh, Nuclear Man. Nuclear Man. Nuclear Man. Lucy Warfield. Mm. Lenny Luther. Lenny! <laughs> Jeremy Boy. <And laughs> it's, it's Jeremy. He's the boy. <laughs> I just like that Jeremy Boy. <laughs> it just says Jeremy Boy. I can't do this. This is way too big. That's what <laughs> she said. <laughs> 
That's what she said. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That's it. Uh, and do you yep. want to talk about any, any of those facts? No, no. <laughs> I think we said all we need to say about Out them. of those four, Lenny's my favorite. <laughs> hey, Lenny, where's Squiggy at? That's <laughs> 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 no, so I didn't remember all those we lost. <laughs> all right. So isn't this technically the version of Superman? we see in the Arrowverse. So, the, there's, like, it's a... We'll, we'll talk about that one day. All right. We're not going we to talk about that right that. now. Oh, sorry, Travis. We're not but, getting into that tonight. I mean, it, it is, but it isn't. In the same way that, like, like it's basically that universe, but it's it's not technically that universe, if that helps. There. That's it. It's okay. like it's similar. Like it basically is that universe, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not. That. There you go. Okay. I mean, like they would say it is, but obviously, I know I said I wasn't going to get it, but like obviously the Flash movie happened. Yeah. And that universe that we see is, in fact, the Superman 78 universe. Okay. The Brandon Routh Superman from Superman Returns is supposed to be like the same as the Richard Donner movies. So I would almost say it's like a parallel universe to Superman 78. It's so like Superman 78 B. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, because it, it, it uh, segments off after part two mm-hmm. and becomes its own continuity. Yeah. Uh, and I want to say in the crosses crossover when Brandon Routh is back as Superman that they say something, I can't remember what, but there's something that's said in it that, that is different I think it's like that he doesn't have a kid or something. Yeah. Like it's 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 something that it very much is not a sequel to Returns. It's not that Returns Superman. Mm. So I forget exactly what it is because I watched it all at one time. Yeah. But there's something there's something about it. Like either he like because I know like he went bad or something and mm-hmm. like he like killed people or something. I don't, there's, there's something because doesn't like I don't know. I'm starting to get a lot of stuff mixed up because I feel like the Joker made him kill Lois, but I know that's injustice. But I thought maybe they co-opted that for the the thing because like he's he goes through like a redemption arc, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, maybe it's it might be because of Lex Luthor because Lex in Superman Returns is still trying to make fucking property uh, on out in the ocean, right? Like that's his whole yeah, thing. Yeah. And like I think he's the maybe the president in the Superman universe in Excuse me. In that I think crosses crossover. And so like obviously that Lex Luthor would not be president. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to rewatch it one day we're gonna we're gonna do it maybe if we watch the entire Arrowverse <laughs> week oh weekly God. take us 15 years to do it uh let us know in the chat if you want us to no do that. uh so <laughs> anyway we gotta remember all those that we lost uh as this is the final time we will see these characters in this form mm. so uh jackie cooper series wrap on jackie cooper that is uh uh chief oh perry white yeah perry white uh mark mcclure jimmy olsen which when we watch supergirl he's actually in supergirl but yeah. since this happens after supergirl this is technically a series okay. trap on him gene hackman you know he's gone uh margo kidder of course came back for smallville but mm-hmm. as lois lane this is her final bow and last and certainly not least christopher reeve as superman we will miss this cast and crew not true. well the cast we'll miss the cast Did, well the crew that did good stuff <laughs> but we'll miss this cast yeah. let's just leave it at that we'll, we'll miss the cast and and john crier this is also his yes. funnel <laughs> his one and only one and only do we got anything uh uh travis said i honestly haven't seen any of the shows so i honestly thought john crier was playing the same dude in that show <laughs> Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be They hilarious. should have made him Lenny. That they would have should been... have. That would have been better. Yeah, but now he's Lex. And like, okay. And he shaved didn't he shave his Listen, head? Yes. Yeah, he did. And he, I'm pretty sure he has a beard. Here's here's all I'm gonna say, okay? And I don't want to get off on this. 
I don't want to get off on this tangent. All right. This is the last thing I'm going to say about it. When John Cryer steals the book as Lex and ends up in the Smallville universe, okay? And Clark says, isn't it a long way for you to be here, Mr. President, or something like that? Yeah. Like, I get it. But, but he's not Michael Rosenbaum. No. And, he, and he's not supposed to look like Michael Rosenbaum. No. So, like, because we have multiple versions of the same people yeah, the that, same that people, look yeah. different. And they're like, why does why does this person not look yeah. the same as you? They're the same person, like. But sometimes they do look the same, and sometimes they don't no, look the same. Yeah. And like, that bugged the shit out of me. You know, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, just don't just be like, hey, who are you? Like, just say that instead. Said, you know, I'm Lex Luthor. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I know Lex Luthor. The, he yeah. shoveled horse shit with me one summer. And we didn't have and we didn't have horses. <laughs> I don't know where we got that shit. Mom and dad were crazy. I bet. But like he that's, picked up cow poop. That's the thing that that just. I no, mean, it makes sense. There's a lot of that that bugs the shit out of me, but that's one of one yeah. of them. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I mean, unless somebody obviously if somebody in chat if Travis has something more to say, that's totally fine. Um, don't. But don't as far as anything. me, don't say anything, Travis. <laughs> so now it's time to get into our freak of the week. <laughs> all right oh yeah i forgot to change that so when i was first filling this out i forgot he was called nuclear man i thought he was called solar, solar man. man i was like what? i forgot i've replaced it most of it but i forgot to change it here so okay uh so the freak of the week this week is of course lex solar man <laughs> solar man and lenny solar man. lenny luther uh, the current Lenny. rankings for the Freak of the Week, and now, of course, since we're doing the movies, this is just the movie rankings. So, a current ranking, excuse me, and number three, not Lex, not Brainiac, and Lorla. And at number two, Lex, Lex Luthor. Luther. And at number one, Zod, Ursa, and Nom. Maggie, where do you want to put Lex, Four. Ultraman, and Lenny? Four. No! I think it's at least three. Yeah, three. Because, I mean, like... Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, that is right. They suck. Yeah. But, like... They are better than the... Like, three is... Yeah. Three's... Like, they're nothing, yeah. you know? Like, at least we have Lex and Lenny. Yeah. All right. Let me... Yeah. Let me add that. All I'll right, read so. what Travis just put up. Okay, go And that Flash cameo, Helen Slater and Christopher Reeve should have been standing there, but Superman is also holding Richard Pryor for no reason. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I'm dying. I love That's it. That's hilarious. <laughs> they should have done it. Then, man, that would have been pissed off a bunch of people. You know that? Oh, man! Yeah. Don't even get me started. Like nuclear man. I think yes. I know that those effects aren't the prettiest in the Flash, but uh it doesn't bother me. No, and I mean they were definitely trying to make it look like, like George Reeves was in black and white. Yeah, this was supposed to look like it came from the eighties. Like it yeah. had that glossy yeah. British look, right? Yeah, of the time, like Star Wars. And New also Hope, you know? uh, Adam West Batman and stuff. It had that look. Fuck, from... was Adam West in that too? Oh, I know Caesar. Rom- Rom- uh, yeah, Rom- yeah, they were. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it had that look of the TV show too. So like, I, it didn't bother me because I think I understood it's the perspective. To look like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. So wow, wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so wow, wow, wow. Your new wow. ranking for Freak of the Week: Number one, Zod, Ursa, and Nom. Number two, Lex Luthor. Number three, Lex Luthor, uh, Nuclear Man, and Lenny. And at number four, not Lex, not Brainiac, and Lorelai. That is your ranking for Freak of the Week. So now right. let's get into puberty, but with superpowers. Yep. Yeah. Big change. You, you didn't say bingo. Oh, bingo. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Travis's last comment in chat is more like do- dookie lurb. Because he's from Crapton, Dookie. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's good. That's funny. It made me chuckle. Um, so this film gives the Man of Steel powers 
with which he had never had been portrayed before. Among these, after the nuclear man destroys part of the Great Wall of China, Superman restores the wall by gazing at it, causing the wall to rebuild itself. <laughs> Apparently by use of telekinesis. <laughs> yeah. So, see, in, in the premiere of episode of season four, when Clark does the Jedi mind trick to pull that stone, uh, taken straight from it. Superman 4. <laughs> That's the only time. Is it? Is it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Apparently, uh, okay, a power never described to Superman in the comics. A contemporary film critic jokingly referred to this new power as Mason Revision. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he uses the same ability during the street battle with Nuclear Man when he lowers several so, men who are floating in the air thanks to Nuclear Man to the ground just by looking at them. Yeah. Like. Yeah. How? how? I, I believe I have it in here. I'm, I believe I have it in here. Gra but gravity vision. If I don't. Basically, he was supposed to do super speed to do both of those things. Well, I, he's probably uh, supposed to fly for the second one, but the, for rebuilding the wall, it was supposed to be super speed. Yeah. And they ran out of budget, so they just reused the footage of him looking at the wall and just played the it in reverse. That's it. That's all they did. Clark, stare. Yeah. No, that's basically... Yeah. You nailed it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. No flying some ties. They break the rule this week. I mean, technically... <laughs> technically they, broke it, they broke it they broke all things yeah because i mean he did fly even if it wasn't like if, even if it was the same time <laughs> reused eight times he did yeah. he did technically fly so <laughs> uh now let's get into pizza time pizza time, <laughs> pizza time. <clears throat> yeah go ninja, go ninja, uh the go. dinner date scene yeah those duck with scallops. I remember that. What the fuck? Can yeah. I just say, like, here's the thing, okay? I, uh, women empowerment. Yeah. Okay. Just to be clear, yeah. I'm on on the side of women. Yeah. So please correct me if this comes across as sexist. Okay. I feel like Lois Lane would not cook this meal. No, she wouldn't have. Like she would have gotten takeout. She out. is a reporter. She's too busy. She's a busy woman in New York. She ain't got time to make a fucking duck. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What the fuck? No. Uh, and also, no. I, I just love how <laughs> Superman just looks. It's like uses X-ray vision. It's like, all right, I'm going to heat up this duck <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> oh God, just, just awful. Yeah. Like all, all of it, all of it not good i love how he he's clark at one point in the apartment and he ducks behind yeah something then he's superman and he just jumps off the balcony <laughs> like how stupid do they think these women are pretty stupid like, i mean especially lois yeah like oh no just oh they're never in the same place at the no. same time like she almost thought that he was Superman in Superman one, yeah. Just because he wasn't in like the <laughs> the Grand Canyon with and, her. And or also, uh, whenever uh, Clark uh, he's sick, you know, from New yeah. Superman, yeah. And he and Lois knocks on her. He's like, uh, "Hold on a second, you could come in." And he turns around without his glasses on. Then immediately puts his glasses on. Yeah. I'm like, buddy, if she still hasn't figured you out, <laughs> and like, not to be whatever, but like. He apparently had horrible radiation poisoning and was like losing his hair and yeah. shit and like and looked sixty. Like he looked horrible. <laughs> yes. All right. And like I didn't remember that at all. Uh but, but like <laughs> I feel like Lois would have seen that. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, Jesus, Clark, what well, the fuck also, happened to you, small she's like, Clark, you haven't called work. You haven't called me. I'm like if you're pushing this other girl, like that's I don't think what... she was pushing her. I think it was like when Jim tried to hook up Ed Helms <laughs> Ed. <laughs> with uh, Andy with yeah. Pam. Like it was just a joke, you know. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure that's that's the take from this. It's yeah. like she she, you know, the fact that they never explored any kind of love interest between Clark and Lois, you know, is just wild to me. <laughs> but that's I'll that's the her. 80s, man. 
I'll kiss her and she's going to remember everything. Then I'm going to kiss her again. <laughs> she's going to forget. She didn't remember because he kissed her. He didn't kiss her. Oh, I thought he did. She remembered because they flew and it just unlocked all the memories. Can you read my mind? Can you read my mind? I'm just a girl on top of the world holding your hand. Are you like Peter oh, Pan? <laughs> dude, he also helped her fly with that vision, the telekinesis. Remember he lets go of her during that time? And she's like flying in a way? No, she's falling. It just There's it, no way. Maggie, she's falling. It just looked terrible because they didn't have a budget to actually do yeah. that. So they were like, okay, now you're just falling. But it's the same shot. It's the same setup. But you're just pretend you're falling now. <laughs> Like, and he just, like, chuckles about it. Serpent's kind of an asshole. Yeah, he is. Like, in this one. Yeah. You know, he's kind of a dick. Uh, hey, Travis, I did like in the third one where he gets drunk and fights his evil side. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. Red Clark shows up. He's like, hey, yeah, I'll go save him. Don't worry about it. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> Toots. You got any beers? <laughs> Sugar uh, mama. Oh, God damn it. Uh, yeah, so now let's get into That's Just Prime. Well, that's just prime. I really, I really wish I had mints. I really want mints. You know, here's the thing. I remembered one of them being empty. In I have car. mints. I have mints in five different spots. The, the car I drove today. There's it, no mints? There's no mints. Car! Well, I took some to work with me and ended up having two full things of mints. <laughs> So I picked the wrong place. So there you go. Wrong place. Uh, our favorite quotes from this movie. <laughs> Lex Luthor. <clears throat> Lenny, let's try and keep your IQ a family secret. <laughs> Screw you, Uncle Lex. Do you, do you want to be Lois? I could be Lois, yeah. All right. Lois Lane. I'd want to tell him that I cherish the time we spent together, and I never expected anything from him. Even if I only saw him for a few moments, it made me happy. And I'd all, I'd want to tell him that I love him and that I'll always love him. And no matter what happens on this world, I know he tried his best to help us. I was trying to help you out with the Thanks. romantic music. Uh, th th I accidentally did. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, what's her name? <laughs> Fuck. What? Princess Leia. Oh. I accidentally did her music instead of the <laughs> Superman and Lois love theme. But anyway, uh, Lenny, the dude of steel. Boy, are you going to get it. Wow. Wow. That's well, it. There it is. That That's IQ's all coming out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into DC references, part of a bigger universe. Not really, though. Not You've really. become part of a bigger universe. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. Oh, Henry's so cute. Everybody, look, like, Henry's asleep. Yeah. He's so sweet. Well, don't wake him up, but. Aww. Adorable. He's our little Clark. Uh, let's see here. When Nuclear Man was being developed, what? I'm so funny. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I catch chat moving out of the corner of my eye and I read it, I speed read it. Freaking Travis killing me here i'm so sorry no, you're fine. i apologize i feel like lenny would have ended up at the foot clan warehouse from ninja turtles 1990 and still got beaten up at <laughs> yeah no you're right yeah you're 100 percent right he would have joined the foot clan yeah like he would have tried but they would have kicked him out yeah he would have been uh i got nothing i was gonna i was gonna compare him to uh kino was that his name yeah but Kino was awesome. So. Yeah, Kino was in the second one. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. When Nuclear Man was being <laughs> developed, Christopher Reeve was approached to play the part as Superman's polar opposite or a darker version of Bizarro. Should have done it. Nah. I mean, Asked they, for they double just the money. Did it. They just did it in four. Double or three. the money. Double the money. They didn't have any money. Money. <laughs> Maggie, he didn't even get paid once. <laughs> They gave him stock options <laughs> in canon. They're like, yeah, here's a hundred million. I <laughs> don't mean anything, you know? Biatch better have money. <laughs> canon better have my money. John Cryer, who played Lenny in this film, would return to DC in 2018 as Lex Luthor in the Supergirl TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Nuclear <laughs> Man. <laughs> Nuclear Man was an updated version of Adam Man. 
A villain that first appeared on the Superman radio show was adapted for the serial Adam Man vs. Superman. Well, I don't believe it. I think this is bullshit. <laughs> I think they had no idea anyone was any at all similar. So, IMDb user who added this, calling your bluff. Bullshit. Mark McClure, who played Jimmy Olsen in Superman 1978, Superman 2 in 1980, Superman 3 1983, and Supergirl 1984, uh, as well as Superman 4, is the first actor to have played the same comic book character in five films. The record stood hmm. until Hugh Jackman played Wolverine for a sixth time <laughs> in The Wolverine 2013, which wow. released 25 years after that film. God. Poor Mark McClure. Just cut out right from my arm. <laughs> you know? Then Logan. Then God. <laughs> well, he... Let's see. Okay, if we're talking... This is sixth time during the Wolverine, so then seventh time was Days of Future Past. Best, yeah. And then he was also in Apocalypse yeah. for just that split second. I mean, it was a little bit longer than yeah. that. And then he was in The Wolverine, and he was not in Dark Phoenix. He was not in mm -mm. that other movie they did, mm -mm. but he is going to be in Deadpool 3. <laughs> and, like, do we count his appearance in Deadpool 2? No. I mean, it's archived footage, but, I mean, yeah. he is in it. I'm going to say 10, including Deadpool 3. I'm not going to count Deadpool 2. Okay. DC Comics <laughs> release of Superman 4 includes the first nuclear man as well as more scenes of Jeremy. Because mm -mm. God knows what we God needed knows more we needed, was Jeremy. We needed more of a child. Why? Jeremy. Isn't there, isn't there a song? Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Jeremy you know, was... No, I'm pretty sure there's a song. I, I think it's by Billy's favorite band, but I could be wrong. Jeremy by Pearl Jam. Yeah, there oh, you go, okay. Billy. There you go, Billy. You See, go, I Billy. got you, I got your back. Uh, at around the one hour and 25 minute mark at the end of the film, Superman says to Lex Luthor as he's dropping him back off in prison quarry, see in 20. Superman and Lex wouldn't appear in a feature film together until Superman Returns in 2006, which was... 20 years later. Not, no, 19. But, oh. yeah. Oh. Think about it. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. The name, I mean, I don't even know if he actually says that. Again, IMDb user, probably lying. Uh, the name Lenny is possibly, it's definitely not. Okay, I want to be very clear. This is not true because nobody gave a shit in this movie to actually look into this and be, like, no. thoughtful. No. All right? Nobody no. did this. But... Lenny is possibly derived from the Lena, Lex's sister in the comics, in the pre-Crisis canon, so this is pre-1985 reboot, uh, Lena had a son named Val Colby. <laughs> Val first appeared in Lex Luthor's Outlaw Nephew, Adventure <laughs> Comics, number 387, December 1969, where he busted... His Uncle Lex out of a max maximum security prison. Oh my god, almighty. Oh my god. I could see like Val the Colby. title. Val Colby. Val Colby. And like Lena, Lenny. That's that's, that's a stretch. Uh, yeah. Alright. That was good. That's good to Remy Zero. Remy Zero. Remy Zero. <laughs> yeah, I like these guys. Yeah. I, I forgot i forgot what i was supposed to say the talent mix was to, uh just just so everybody knows i searched jeremy on spotify yeah. to figure out who sings jeremy uh also jeremy camp popped up so <laughs> there's that uh all right moving on the talent mix <laughs> whole lot of shaking going on by jerry lee lewis yeah. i don't remember this being in the film i don't know but there you go uh, music originally by John Williams, and the score was adapted and conducted by Alexander Courage. Alexander Courage, he about botched up the beginning of it. Oh my God, it's the worst rendition of the Superman. No, no, it's not. The sorry, not to shit on Danny Elfman, but the evil Superman theme uh -oh. in the Justice League is terrible. All right, where it's like it's the Superman theme, but it's in minor chords. Like it's not good, man. Danny, what the fuck you doing, man? 
the fuck are you doing? You did you did Batman. You know? But like, how can you do that for Superman? You know? And say he's like bum 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 He probably saw the coloring of it and was like, It's depressing, isn't it? This is what can I can you do. Can you believe they asked Danny Elfman to score Joss's thing? I can because What happened to Junkie XL? <laughs> God, that movie. Maggie, which is worse? The Justice League or Superman 4? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Because, like, Superman 4 is boring and stupid, but Justice League, I, I, like, actively pisses me off. You know? Yeah. So yeah. it's just tough. It's tough. I mean, I'd we rather, did, we I'd rather get, be bored than pissed off. I mean, but we do get... They're, they're like... A handful of things I like in the Justice League. And by a handful, I mean, I can think of one for certain. <laughs> and that's when the Flash and Superman race at the end. Wow. That's that's pretty much... I do like the cell phone video. No, you no, don't. I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Shut up. I don't like that shit. You Travis. Me? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I also like when Aquaman holds the lasso of truth and accidentally says a bunch of stuff yeah i thought that was funny yeah that was funny doesn't bruce do that in the the snyder cut no he does it in the flash oh yeah but he admits that he really likes in the at the bridge like she oh, rescues wow them. so they just did the joke again yeah oh uh, yeah wow okay um travis said uh masters of the universe also has a knockoff superman theme in it <sighs> and probably Justice League for me, <laughs> especially seeing what that movie was supposed to be, yeah, makes it worse. It does. It, it hurts way yeah. worse. It yeah. hurts. God. Like, I, I, you know, everything about the Snyder Cut and all that stuff, like, and, you know, everything, all that aside, uh, I do wish we could have got, like, the rest of the story. Like, it yeah. would have been cool to see, like, the Nightmare universe and, like, how yeah. it finally, like, tied together and stuff. Uh, like I appreciate what they were trying to do, but I, I'll be honest, I'm I'm glad we're getting just a clean start. I think it, at this point it's easier to yeah. start from scratch. Let's build out the universe. Let's do it right this time. Mm -hmm. I think the the Snyderverse is just so convoluted. DCEU, like there's so many things that are canon and are not canon at the same time that I think just cut and run, start it over. Yeah. You know, that's all. You, that's all we gotta do, everybody. And that is James Gunn's DCU. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now it's time for everybody's favorite segment. It's, it's time, time for, for the, the countdown, countdown to Billy. I ordered Billy's microphone. Oh. Yeah. And should, cord. Should we order should him? The guy, should, should we? The, should the guy? Stop it. Should we order him a shirt? Fuck no. He can wear, he can get his own goddamn shirt. <laughs> He's got Billy, Billy's got a Superman shirt. Billy, I know you're listening. Tell me if you need a shirt like us. Billy ain't listening. To us. Yes, he is. No, Maggie, listen. The, he's a guest. All right, he can wear whatever he wants to. He can come in wearing a Flash T-shirt if he wants. He'll not be allowed in the house, but he can wear. <laughs> he can do it. I'm checking. No, I'm checking. Three weeks. Three weeks until Billy gets here. Three Can you believe it? Weeks. Can you believe it, Maggie? I can't believe Can it. Can you believe it? I can't. I can't either. Maybe he won't. <laughs> uh, <What? laughs> I'm joking. Uh, let's talk about next time on Smallville. Next time. Gadget. Next time. Meow. <laughs> next week, we'll be watching the season five premiere <laughs> titled arrival maggie based solely off the title what do you think the plot of the season five premiere is oh, i hit the tv my bad um so i think the plot of the premiere is mm -hmm. of arrival okay is okay we have I amy adams <laughs> trying to translate yeah trying to translate alien language kryptonian yeah and <laughs> Hawkeye's there too. <laughs> Hawkman? 
Oh. From Black Adam? No, <laughs> Jeremy Renner. I know, I know. Oh, no. I'm I'm being the bit with you. All right, I'm in the bit with you. Okay. No. So, okay. That's what it okay. is. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but for realsies. Good job, Maggie. For realsies. Way to go. You um, nailed it. You nailed it. I mean, it has to deal with that big ass spaceship at the end of the uh, last yeah. episode. You think? I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's about the arrival of the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's about uh, uh, Clark's Peepaw coming back to town. <laughs> I hope not. I'm pretty sure we never see that old fuck ever again. All right. Gosh. I'm pretty sure he never comes just, back like, into the Stared at show. Clark like, you know. Who the f- are you? <laughs> I'm Lou. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> People, let me run on you. Hey, get up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Fucking old, good old Peepaw, you know? <laughs> good old Clark's Peepaw. I don't even, was it his, it was his mom's dad, right? Martha's dad, yeah. He was like, you could have been a contender, Martha. Yeah, and Instead, like, you wanted to shovel shit in the dirt. I love him, Pa. <laughs> he just like them old Duke boys. So, he can drive a truck. That's not all he drives. Whoa, pow! <laughs> all right. Any, anything uh, else to say uh, before we wrap up this Travis, uh, last, train wreck? Well, actually, he just added more. Um, I think <laughs> so he says, I think Superman's interest in the final battle in the Justice League is actually better than the Snyder version. I believe in truth, yeah. but I'm also a big fan of justice with the Superman thing. I do like that. Um, he also said, maybe it's about Pete arriving to sit on his throne as the Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> 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 He's coming back to be Pete the Boss Ross. Uh... Wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, my wrong one. Wow. All right. <laughs> hey, that's going to wrap it up for us, everyone. Thank you for joining us this week for our trip, our final trip back to Superman for with Chris Reeve. Uh, we'll be back again next week with the season five premiere of Smallville with Arrival. Right. So everybody be sure and come back. We're going to hang out and talk all about our brand new season. Uh, we will be back again tomorrow night with uh, going back. Nope. With the Super Nice playback. And I believe I have the, the video we're going to watch. Okay. It's just the, the one we didn't watch last okay. week. Remember, if you'd like to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash hopefully awesome, just like these fine folks did. Or you can join us right here on youtube.com slash hopefully awesome. Get your name in the credits of every episode. Get exclusive access and content and all that fun bunch of stiff. Uh, or you can also get a special verbal shout out for being our producer of the month, just like Strange Marvel Theories. Theories. Thank you for being our producer. We greatly appreciate you. We'll be back again tomorrow night, like I said, for Super Nice Playback. We'll be back on Monday at 9 live with the Hopefully Awesome Show, where we'll be talking about Godzilla X Kong. It's looking to do some pretty big numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, like I said earlier, we'll be back one week from tonight with the Season 5 premiere of Smallville. But that is going to wrap it up for us, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks, Travis, for hanging out with us. And as always, have a hopefully awesome day. Bye. Bye.